Hey, this is Rich. Uh, getting buried in snow again. Let's get a little bit of wood. But uh, my cousin in Michigan said that he'd like to hike the uh, Appalachian Trail this year, maybe for a few days. So I thought, well, I might be interested in doing that. So that got me thinking about, you know, gear and stuff. And, uh, watch out, Andy. And, um, so I started looking on YouTube for stoves. And I found a really cool one on this channel. So I'll show you guys. Okay, here's the stove right here. Now, this is this is the one I just made. Um, on NC Hikers stove, he used uh, the small fruit, uh, you know, tomato juice cans. This V8 can, but I actually end up using pop cans. You know, seem, since there seems to be like you know a zillion of them around here for some reason. But anyways, it's a great little stove. It's such a cool idea. And they call it a crumb catcher stove or CC stove because you use one of these, the sink strainer, a crumb catcher, they call it. It just fits down your sink. And you can buy these at Walmart or Lowe's or just about anywhere. And then you use these little, these are pegboard plier holders. You have a pegboard and you just stick them in there and hold it, and they work great. I mean, this stove is just, I think, the coolest thing. But I just modified mine a little bit, and I put it on a, I used a, uh, about a paint, a paint can, uh, a new paint can at Lowe's, and I mounted my stove on there, so that way I can turn it upside down and just store it in here and have it stored somewhere. So it'd be a cool little stove for emergency or hiking or anything. Very cool, and it'll hold a number of of cans. It'll hold that can. And you can put this can up at the top of there. And you can have if you had a bigger can, you can stick it up there. It's just great. It it, it burns nice. And it heats up water in, in about, I think, like four to four to five minutes. You can boil a cup of water. So we'll show you how to make one if you're interested. Okay, what you'll need to get started is get you a crumb catcher for sure, and then get you three um, pop cans, coke cans, beer cans, whatever. Uh, get three that are alike. That way, you know, in case they're made a little different, you won't have no problems. And get your sharpie good little pair of scissors. And what you do on two of these, we'll want to take and you want to cut this ring out in the bottom. Now you can do that with the razor knife. It's real slow if you do it that way. But you want to cut that out or use a hole saw. I'm going to use a hole saw. Okay, now that i got my cans cut out, both of them, you want to find you a, something about a half an inch. Piece, i got a half inch piece of wood here or a, you know, a little book or anything you can do on you can find that and what you do is you just want to lay your sharpie on there and uh, set your can there and just touch it to the sharpie and just give it a spin and that way you get you a nice even line all the way around the can there you got a nice line to cut and you do the same thing on the other one once you have your lines drawn, you want to take your scissors. I found this is just the best way to do it. You just take your can somewhere near the line, but not real close. Just cut out that can. Okay, now that you've got your can cut out, you can turn it and take your scissors. And just start at an angle there until you get to your line there, and then just cut it straight around. Then you get your nice, nice cut, and you do that on the other one too. Now that you got your uh, two rings cut out, that's where the crumb catcher comes in. You take your crumb catcher and just set it down into one of them, even as can be. And you take the other one, in the same direction, you push it over the crumb catcher, and you kind of line it up there a little bit, and they'll push together. Okay, and what I did, is, see that's going to hold the base. I got me a piece of wood and just cut a little hole in it. And I can stick it upside down here and press on the back of it. 
press down with my hand, and that way you got the two pieces together, and it's holding your it'll hold your crumb crumb catcher in there. And this outer ring, this is for your preheater. Now what you want to do is drill you a, a hole. Just come down low. You'll be able to see the two lips. Drill your hole, so make sure you get through both both of these pieces and put your little screw in there or, you know, braid or something uh, that you can use for that. But that's all you do for that. Okay, now but just make you sure have that done. You take your, your third can and you find you something that's about an inch high or a little under an inch and you'll want to do the same same thing, mark it. This can is going to be a little bit taller than the other ones. This will be your compartment to hold the fuel. So you just spin it around there and it should kind of look like that. And you take your scissors and you cut it out and do the same thing. Okay, once you get that cut out, it'll just look like that. And what you'll do is you're going to take your stove and you want to set it you're going to set it down in there again. And you just want to go maybe about a half an inch. Well, not even a half inch, really probably a quarter of an inch. If you can push it all the way down, it won't, it won't match up. You just start to do it, get it started, and then you just want to push down. I'm going to use my little wood thing here again. And just push down a little bit on it. Not too much. It fits in there very tight. And really, and that's basically your stove here. Okay, after you get that, you don't have to drill it or nothing. Just it fits in there really tight. And that's basically your stove. And you take your um, your plier holders, and they'll fit right into the little holes here on the side. Usually about four. You might have to squeeze them just a little bit to get it to go, but. You stick that in the side, and uh, do the same all the way around. And there you have it. Neat, little, cool, simple stove that works great. It's just incredible. Now you can take this and do it like I did my, my other one, mount it on a can, so you can stick it in there. Or just use it like this and just take it apart and hold the holders. And what you use on it is denatured alcohol is what it burns. And what I found is if you get an old um, eyedropper, one of these, you fill this up with alcohol, this gives you enough, enough burn for like a 13 minute burn, 12 to 13 minutes, which is plenty of time to boil, you know, water, and make you and heat you something up. Okay, and after you fill your thing up, on these um, eyedroppers, if you use one of these for measure, I had I drill out the hole a little bit because it's so small. But anyways, what you do is you just take you some of your alcohol and you squirt into that outer edge. You fill that up, and that's your that's like a pre burner. It gets it hot, and then you just take the rest of it, squirt it down into the bottom. Then you light it and let it heat up for a few minutes. Now if you want to make your base, you just take your other can, the top, take the top of it and do the same thing, cut it off. And that way you can just take it and mount it onto a lid like I did over here. And then once you get it mounted, you just take your stove and push it down in there just like you did everything else. That's about it. Good luck if you make one. I think I'm going to cook lunch. Here we go. We're going to be some beef stew there. Look at that. It's been about five minutes. It's already getting about done. Very cool little stove.